Howdy folks, Tech Scrubner here with Tech Scrubner Outdoors, new videos every week. So if you don't want to miss out on any of your Tech Scrubner Outdoors Saturday morning cartoon awesomeness, you better make sure that you click subscribe, check that notification box, and check my channel every week for brand new adventures. I love reading your comments and I really do appreciate all of you that watch. Why do I call it my Saturday morning cartoon awesomeness? That is because I'm animated and it is dangerous to release too much of my awesomeness all at once. Now I do read you guys' comments and this video is here to address some viewer comments and questions about shooting a traditional bow more accurately. While it is dangerous to release too much of my awesomeness all at once, I will never claim to be more than I am and I am not a really really good shot with a traditional bow. What I am is good at shooting within my own limitations. I am a good shot within my own limitations. Now you see you've already got your fundamentals of anchor point, correct draw length, look at where you want the arrow to go, keep the arrow under your eye, so that everything is in a straight line, so on and so forth. But if you're not hitting as accurately as you want to be hitting it with the least effort possible, I've got bad news for you. This is an oversimplification for most people. The point is, have fun. If you're not hitting as accurately as you want to be hitting, move up! I'm not kidding you. Move up. If you get close enough, your aim will be true enough. This also applies to bow hunting. Okay? I have a hard, fast, solid rule. And that is, I am not going to shoot at an animal more than 20 yards away. And it's a hard rule to keep, let me just tell you. But... If you're not hitting what you're aiming at with almost no effort, move up. This doesn't help you for accurate shooting in competition where you have to shoot from the stake. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about backyard archery. I'm talking about bow hunting. Fundamentals will never let you down. And if you get close enough, your aim will be true enough. It is literally that simple. And it isn't what people like to hear. People want to hear about these awesome, crazy techniques of shooting and so on and so forth. But if you get close enough, your aim will be true enough. Know your limitations. And especially when an animal is involved, don't shoot beyond your limitations. There's a certain level of humility and maturity that you need to achieve in the sense of know what you're capable of. That's not to say that you might not be more capable than me. I'm just saying that there's no reason to miss because you're the one in control of that arrow. And if the shot doesn't look right, don't take it. Don't let go of that string. But it does take a lot of discipline simply to let down instead of making a bad shot that isn't exactly perfect. And I almost whiffed that one, but I hit the spot. So I hope that this is helpful in simplifying traditional archery, possibly to a criminal point of simplification, because if you get close enough, your aim will be true enough. You need to be able to shoot accurately without having to think about it. Just have fun. Now, I did whiff the dot on that one, so. That 
counts, right? Nah, I'm just playing with you. Anybody that thinks that you see the first take of a long-range archery video, you're, you ain't seeing the first take of a long-range archery video. Now, the reason that I look like I'm a pretty good shot most of the time isn't because of editing and multiple, multiple takes to get what I want. It's that I look good at archery because I stay where I'm good, which is inside of 20 yards. I mean, for the most part, now that I'm getting all excited, my discipline is going down the drain, but if you ain't hitting what you want to hit, move up. I hope that this video has been helpful to you. As always, God bless all my sportsmen of America. Join the NRA to protect your rights. Please come my friends over at SOBTactical.com. Thank you very much to those of you involved in law enforcement and those of you serving in the military. Thanks for watching. Take scrubbing your outdoors.